Okay, now Chijoke Ziala, senior sports correspondent from the Nation's newspaper. He's in the studio. Good morning, good to have you. Uh, good morning, uh, it's good to be here mm -hmm. as usual. Yeah, it's great to have you, Chijoke. I mean, we're talking about Rangers and, um, and uh, Rivers. Out of the relegation zone. Yeah, uh, finally for them, uh, 15th now. So yeah. it's, it's it's a good one for them. 1-0 yesterday, um, Eto, Dana Leto um, scored the only goal. So um, it's good for them to be out of relegation without a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Chairman Christian Chuku is really doing Well, No, there's uh, someone sitting job. there, Chuku Mahabu, come term. on, just give him, give him the credit. Yes, I, I'm giving him credit. I, yeah. I like the way the guy said the new players will take time to gel. <laughs> I like the way he pronounced the gel. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it, it's really, it's really um, funny, but uh, they will take time to really, really um, get a um, right blend. And they won't go relegation like I've always believed. And yeah, you, yeah, you so, still, yeah, you yeah believe I've that. always believed in them. So mm. I think they would, they would really, they would not win the league or okay. go to the continent, continent out. next season. Neither but but they would retain their status me, as, me, me uh, as, as an elite right. club for this year. <laughs> okay, elite. Yeah. But All actually, right. okay, considering everything now that yeah. the Rangers have done, I mean, champions last year, uh, but this time they crashed out of the um, CAF Champions League, yeah. crashed out of the Confederation Cup as well. So what would represent uh, a decent... Uh, season for Rangers? Uh, as it stands now, uh, their season is all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. We must be sincere. Um, no coach. Uh, if they had uh, Imama still at the hands, maybe we'll start um, saying maybe success or no success. But right now, uh, any anywhere they finish, it will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just for them to stay in the league for the next right. for next season, so okay. it will be okay for them. Okay, okay. that's yeah. not nice. All right, yeah. now let's move on is, so. to <laughs> other issues concerning ownership of football. Now, Nigerian Football Federation is saying that from next season, they want to want a situation whereby you having a state having own two clubs. Abbey State is an example. We have Aimba and also yeah, Abbey Warriors. Warriors. Mm. So they say from next season, they want to have the best practices. Now, before we listen to NFL President Amaji Pini, we have to listen to the governor of Abbey State. Uh, when, he was talk when they paid him a cut visit, he was talking about the fact that they want to bring sports, you know, make sports more like a business in the state. We'll listen to him, then we'll listen to Amaji Pini talking about how they intend to, you know, split this issue whereby. States can only own just one club in the Nigerian Professional Football League. We are hopeful that under your watch, football will begin to record uh, giant strides. Nigeria will return to glory days and, in fact, surpass our previous records of achievement in soccer. The only way we can show our support for you is to make sure that in Abia State, we we adequate attention to this very, very important family, which has turned around the fortune of many families that did not have home before. Soccer is for leisure, but it's also a very big business. Um, and we have very beautiful examples of great soccer stars that have made it from this climb. It is it the Carol of Bones and others in this bloke who has made huge success out of soccer. Uh, remember also that we used to have a Kuchikuche that led the Nigerian team for so many years with great success. We want to put on record that Nigeria will remain a repository of um, um, soccer stars, both from the level of um, uh, amateur to professionals. We have a robust Card Them Young program which will begin to manifest. Just uh, incubating the great stars of tomorrow very soon from the hills of Abia North through the plains of Abia South and Central. Great soccer stars will emerge once again, not only to do Abia Brown, but also to bring glory to Fara, Nigeria. The NFL, what we are doing, we're always thinking of the future is in line with our integrity program because traditionally you cannot have two states under one holding company. Abia Warriors, I am telling you for for example, or Yimba, they have their own independent and by God's grace before that time they would have perfected whatever they are doing in making sure that they have individual representation representation in the committee of football circles especially in the league. So that's exactly what we are going to do. But we must in terms of integrity is very key. It is really really key. If you look at Roman Abramovich, he could own 10 clubs in the Premier League or even UEFA. But he, was, he couldn't because there are statutes against it. It's clearly stated 
in global football rule, you cannot have a holding company, you cannot have two clubs under the same holding company. But everything I'm saying here, of course, we have the blessing of the Nigerian Executive Committee of the Nigerian Board Federation. Because we really want to do well in club football. We'll look at the remote and the immediate courses and see how we can. But on my personal opinion, I just feel that we need to concentrate more on some of the traditional clubs. But prayerfully, they have to also work hard to get to that area where they can also. So if we look at that, some of the remote, that might be some of the remote challenges that they have, which means from home. If all those challenges are tackled, of course, they will finish first three in the league. At every point in time, they represent Nigeria, represent Nigeria very well.